Congratulations on the, the contract. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, delighted, delighted. Um, you know, I've obviously been at this club a long time, but I certainly never take for granted. Um, you know, in terms of extending my stay, and uh, I'm delighted to do so once again. So, um, yeah, exciting, exciting season ahead. Uh, and you know, I think with the fans being back tomorrow, particularly, I think it's you know a pretty special moment. So, uh, you know, you add up that all together, it's been you know certainly been a happy week for myself personally, and uh, and as I said, just really looking forward to the season now. How much is everyone at the club looking forward to that upcoming tomorrow? Yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be pretty emotional, to be honest. You know, it was such a difficult year last year, um, you know, for everyone. Um, uh, but, you know, to, I think what last year did, it, it, it really clarified what football is about, and it is about the fans, first and foremost, and, and without their presence, particularly at a club like ours, which I know they play such a big part, both on and off the pitch. Um, you know, we've missed them greatly, to be honest. So, to have them back in the stadium, to have that energy back in the stadium um, for the team, uh, for the club as a whole, is, is, is going to be pretty special, to be honest. So, you know, hopefully as the weeks go on, that'll grow, obviously, and the numbers will get bigger, um, and we can get it back to, to, to what it was pre pandemic. But just to have, you know, that any sort of fan presence in the stadium will be, will be great for the players and, and great for, it, for everyone involved, really. I mean, the fans and the, the community are really the lifeblood of this club. How how tough has it been over the last year not being able to sort of engage with them directly inside the stadium? Yeah, no, it has been. As I say, it's been such a it's such a big part of the fabric of this football club. You know, the the, the people, you know, <laughs> quite literally run the place. You know, we own the you know they own the the club in terms of the, with the Welsh society, and there's just such a big influence over everything. The direction of this football club from top to bottom. So, um, you know, when they're missing from your most important day, which is a Saturday, it's it's uh, you know it certainly takes something away. So, uh, you know, we can't wait, as I said, to have them back. Uh, and as I said, hopefully as the weeks go on, that can that can grow back to. You know, really feeling, uh, you know, having that East Stand full and and all the stands f uh, as full as possible to, to to cheer the team on. It'll be uh, something. It's been a long time coming, and something I know that every day that's what's within the club is, is is looking forward to so much. Is that the hope that when we get into level zero on Monday, and at that point, obviously, two thousand is is the maximum, but clubs can apply for more. That we start to see, you know, the, the numbers really start to build up. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, that's all obviously got to be done within. You know the parameters of the country and what is going on. You know, first and foremost, the, the health and well-being of the, the people as a whole in the country is is, is a one. Uh, we understand that, but certainly, uh, you know, hopefully that picture continues to on a positive path, and and football can then react off the back of that. And as you say, uh, you know, these these kind of next checkpoints, if you like, coming up. Hopefully, we can pass them and, and we can start to see full stadium again. Not just here, but across the board. You know, um, you know, I think we're allowed some away fans at Airdrie next week, as far as I know, as well. And you know, a great game to get some away fans into a local derby, so uh, excited about that as well. But you know, the little signs are there now, we just hopefully we can keep going on that path. You see the initiative to offer supporters to donate money for other people, maybe get forward to come in as well, that's another special thing that the, the club and the fans have done as well. Yeah, absolutely, and again, I think it's in the DNA of this club, to that, that sort of community feeling and, uh, you know, and and you know, football as a whole has been through a tough time, but a lot of people in this local community have been through, uh, you know, a tough time through football and you know things going on round about. Uh, you know, with uh, you know the whole COVID situation, whether it be their work situation in terms of possibly losing their jobs or uh, you know whatever is going on in their lives and mental well-being. There's so many other aspects that have been affected throughout the, the pandemic, obviously. So, you know, anything that the club can do to try and uh, you know help in, in those those situations, I think is to be applauded and I think the, the initiative that the, the club have come up with in terms of uh, you know the, 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 the free season tickets and, and people being able to donate to, to people maybe in a less fortunate situation I think is fantastic and as I said it really um, you know to me epitomises what this football club is all about. Can I just go back to your personal situation obviously it's always been a bit of uncertainty when a new manager comes in and you're on the, the staff you must be obviously yeah, um, you know, it's 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 a new experience for me. You know, I'm learning all the time. Um, you know, when I come into the job at first, 
you know, my, my first job was to earn the trust of Stephen Robinson and earn the trust that, uh, you know, professionally and, 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 and um, you know, as a colleague, uh, I, you know, I could be trusted in terms of what I could bring to the job. Um, you know, that's no d different now on that staff changeover. It's, it's certainly something, as I said, it's been a learning experience for me. But, you know, what I've tried to show the new manager and, and everybody at the club that I'm still as motivated as ever to, to, to try and push this club forward and, uh, and help Graham push, push the club for, uh, forward. Um, you know, hopefully I've displayed that. Um, and, and I'm hungry. I'm still hungry as a young coach. I want to learn. I want to learn every day. I want to um, keep growing myself. Um, and, you know, I'm just... You know, delighted to do that. Uh, or continue to do that at this football club. What manager does that put you on here? Then must be a, a fair. Yeah, I, I think I don't know. Maybe any three figures. Never mind double figures. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, the journey. I think it was '99. I think I first stepped in this football club. So uh, a long time ago. But you know, certainly a lot of highs and lows along the way. Um, but. You know, on the whole, this football club has been absolutely fantastic to me and my family, and it's uh, plays such, has played such a big part in my life and continues to do so. And as I said right at the start, it's certainly something I don't ever take for granted. Uh, if anything, it's the opposite of that. I want to make sure that I'm pushing every single day to, to do what I can to help push this, this club forward. Is your job role sort of, I know it's, it's similar title and things like that, but are you doing sort of different things to what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, naturally, you know, it, it, it ebbs and flows in terms of exactly what, you know, defining exactly what your role may bring. Uh, you know, for instance, tomorrow I'll be in the stand with the fans. Uh, you know, I've got a little bit more of a bird's eye view on a Saturday and, and seeing how I see the game from there and bringing that different perspective down to the dugout, which is obviously a little bit different from before. So, you know, without going too far into exactly from day to day, that that's you know an example of how you know in a match day certainly my rules uh, change slightly, but again it's a learning another learning experience for me and um, you know it's something I'm enjoying and um, you know as I said uh, I'm just I'm just really looking forward to the season ahead and, and, and pushing on. Season-wise, how have you sort of found the, the squad so far? I know it's still early days yet, but shape up nicely. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think at this time of the year it's still. Uh, you know, a work in progress in terms of the fitness levels of the players. You're always pushing them, and you know these League Cup games obviously come early. Uh, I think the, the managers, you know, uh, you know, quote the same. We're still looking to add to the squad. There's no doubt about that. Um, uh, but you know, in terms of the, the, the general fitness levels and, and uh, you know what the players that are in the building at the moment are doing, we're happy with that. Uh, it's just a case of building on that. And as I said, hopefully with the addition of uh, you know a few more, uh, you know, we feel confident we can we can make a you know a really good start to the season. Focus on the game tomorrow. Would you expect from Yeah, again a tough game. I thought I think you saw from the from the other night against Queen's Park, very well organised. Uh, you know, a good side. I know I've got enough experience of these games early. That, you know, they're tough. They're all tough. So, um, you know, Queen's Park of uh, sorry, Queen of the South. Sorry, had a good result uh, themselves um, during the week. So they'll come uh, full of confidence. So, um, no, a tough match. A tough match. I think all these games early in the season will be tough. Um, but as I said there in my previous answer, really what we we are looking for is our own project progression, you know, progression in those fitness levels, progression in our tactical understanding of what we're trying to get across to the players. Um, and just hopefully we see that improvement from Wednesday night. You've got three points on the board from midweek if you get a win for all that. Yeah, yeah, it does. You know, it obviously puts us in a stronger position. But as I said, our first and foremost is to see this team progressing. As I said, I think we want to keep pushing um, through this this kind of League Cup campaign, and then you know, hopefully, we arrive at that first game at Hibs. Uh, you know, really ready, to, ready to go. How useful are these games in terms of looking at how you're going to form, how you're going to form the team, and how you're going to prepare people going to play? Yeah, very much so because it is a quick turnaround in the summers now. There's, you know, there's not a lot of time, so you know you are progressing through these games. You know, you're not arriving on that first game probably uh, and absolutely where you want to be. But listen, uh, you know, we, we progress as I say through these games, and um, as long as we see that progression as a coaching staff and, and the manager, then you know I'm sure we'll, we'll you know we'll be pleased with that.